Uh, right now, I'm teaching basic keyboard at University of Buffalo. Mm, mostly, they're minors or music major undergrads. They don't have very much about keyboard playing, <coughs> but they have a sense of music and uh, they know how like how it works. And also, they will have like um, spend more time on practicing that. Yes. Yeah, yeah, that, that term could be hard. It probably okay. just like that, that part. Like okay. When you are doing I kinda want want teach students like in the in the college or in the in the university. Cause when they uh, when they grow up they will know more about what they're doing right now. I want, I want to give them a more specific, more useful um, skills, um, experience uh, to work on the piano. For a music major, uh, keyboard playing is a, is a requirement. It's very necessary for them. What I did, what I do will help them, and it could um, affect, uh, affect their composing or um, about their performing, even in other instrument. Um, so, I would say, uh, no matter what area they they gonna working uh, in the future, uh, I want help them to be very fundamental and uh, keyboard playing. Make that like a melody, like da 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 da. Da, 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 da. So okay. don't, don't need to be like asking everyone. Yeah, just like phrase it more. Yeah. Sometimes I can feel like when you're going to the second finger or third finger, it's like more comfortable to play that. So it just like yeah. uh, naturally comes out like a bit louder. When you go going back to the subject, you can like kind of highlight it a little bit. Mm -hmm. Then go. It's actually the same uh, like um, uh, material here with with this part. So like maybe a little bit at the same level, but not over overdo that. Yeah, I'm thinking like this doesn't even have to really be forte necessarily because we're coming yeah. out of piano anyways. So just kind of like how this was again. Yeah. More so I think even like this mezzo forte would be. Um, I, I would say like uh, maybe a little bit more than the first part, okay. first the, the opening. I think okay. it's like a, like the highlight, like um, like going back again, but like have a little bit new. So, um, but like definitely keep this at the same level, not so not strong at the second part.
for me, practice, of course, is a major part in my life. When I'm not practicing, uh, I need to do the research about this piece, uh, what happened uh, on this composer during this period when, when he composing this piece, and how about his cultural background. Mm -hmm. And it's always have something, have the result to affect the piece and how you're going to perform it. A lot of people will think uh, art major or music major, music performing, it's something where you have the talent, your, your gift to own that ability. So mm -hmm. you can pull up that very easily. You just play mm -hmm. like, oh, you guys are very easy, very relaxed. Uh, you just need to like play music or listen to music every day. But when it becomes one of your work or job, it's not easy anymore. You need to find or do a lot of research on the piece you're gonna play, or you're gonna talk, have discuss about um, how how you guys gonna play this piece together with your part uh, with your chamber partner. Mm -hmm. Usually, the practice room is a very depressing space. It just have a door. Without a window, just a piano there, you're gonna sit there. And when you sit there, you don't even know it's in the morning or not. And usually they're gonna be, when you, like, at 10 p.m., you mm -hmm. walk in the practice room. And when you laugh, it's like 10 p.m. in the evening. I was planning to for the following four or five years keep study um, and uh, learn more and go deeply with the piano performance. Do you just satisfy with your interview? I did well and I I did my best to uh, in the in the audition and I had a very. Um, good talking with the committee members. I also like being very honest about my future goal and my ideas about teaching. Um, during the past two years, um, I have studied in the United States and the past half the year, I am getting ready for the audition material, um, including the programs, the audition. It's a hard time for me to get ready for all of those things. And a doctorate um, obviously is, um, is a very professional level for musicians. I think I did my best, so I left no grads for the past half year with what I have been doing. So whatever the result comes, I think I will take it and I think I will still um, working on what I'm studying at and I will keep going. Of course, as an international student, language and environment change uh, will bring a lot of problems and difficulties in our life. Um, but as an art, art major, I think uh, a lot of liberal arts, art and science major 
an uh, international student, and uh, their difficult will be um, the the way to really experience and feel understanding the Western cultural and history. Different with uh, science and technology student, they are pursuing a correct answer. But for our for us, uh, it's more about um, if you can get into the um, the way they think about the the music, the art, or not. Um, that uh, requires a lot of time and years to uh, get that. I start learning, uh, start playing piano uh, when I was five years old, and at that time, I was practice about an hour a day, and uh, it's continuously to when I was at high school, and then I'm getting get ready for the undergrad, so I practice more. It's about like five, six hours a day. When I get ready for the master's degree, it's about the same, like six hours practicing. much because it's on cups but we're going to kind of slide it that way okay <laughs> that's good you can't get in there though right so do it do it open yeah hung you and al cimenti another percussionist they approached me and asked me if i wanted to be involved with with a, a contemporary improv group um called tonal nuage that's the group and um they the idea of it uh, was, was really what kind of wanted me to be involved. So we're not necessarily reading music, but we're kind of interpreting um, other art forms through sound. So I thought that was really neat that, that you know, it was going to be something that was kind of pure expression. So we could, we could kind of do whatever we wanted, but still have, you know, you know we rehearse all the time. Um, but it, but it's more about the concept. really nice about being in the group with Hung Yu is, um, you know, I can listen to her play the piano and get inspired by her sounds to try and make my own sounds.
want to move the piano just a little bit. Yeah, well, it started off, uh, we were going to interpret different poems. So poetry, it started off is, is that. And um, John Nelson from Pausa came to us, and he brought up the idea that we interpret the, um, the artwork that's hanging on the walls there. And uh, we thought that was a perfect fit for the type of music that we're, that we're playing. So now it's not only poetry, but it's also um, you know, artwork, um, painter, like paintings, photography, all that. Yeah, I got rejected by Florida State University. Uh, I think um, after this trip to Florida, um, I talked to the, uh, the professors yep. here and I saw the perform performers and they are really great and they motivate me mm -hmm. to achieve um, more and practice more to get a higher Point. Compared to other performance, I have less experience as a professional musician. Also, I should um, I need to have more musical mm -hmm. um, background, and I need to fulfill my um, knowledge about including music history and Western culture. I was very depressed when I know the result. Um, it. It's been it's been a hard time for me, like a, um, almost a week. Um, but in the other way, um, this result is telling me I need to do more to get what I want. Then I look back about what I did for those two years, and I think I have many um, places I I need to. Um, fulfill the knowledge. I need to correct the way I practice, um, and I also to need to read more about the music. It's not only just performing; um, it has more meaningful things behind that. I need to put myself in that space and really understand them. And I think. They are right, and I should to improve myself mm. and showing them I can do that. Will you apply for the DMA degree again? That's my plan to apply the DMA degree again. Yes, I will.
happy with that. <laughs> okay, let's move on. This? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you! Yeah. Uh, two comes oh, after oh, this. So transparent! Two. You guys want to do five first and then two? We'll do five, yes. yes. We're doing two, it's happening. It's happening. I'm not going to get away from I it. hate two. I'm not going to, it's I not going away. Two. Like when I picture myself playing two, I'm like, I like can picture my arm going like this. Guys, I have like a weird pain in my arm. We should go massage. We should go <laughs> massage together. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's what we need after this. Massage, definitely. Well, actually, I'm getting one on the tent. My mom bought me one. Isn't that amazing? Ooh. What a coincidence. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 